welcome to VTeach. In this video, I am going to discuss about the adaptive filters. Whereas in order statistic filters, the output is a fixed value that depends upon the a fixed procedure. Like for example, if you take the minimum filter. So, the minimum value in the area where we have considered the sub area S, X, Y. So, the minimum intensity value in this particular region is the output of that particular filter. Where the center pixel value x comma y at a location x comma y is replaced with the minimum in this neighborhood s x y similarly max filter means so the center pixel value is replaced with the maximum value so like that the output of the order statistic filters is fixed but in this case in the adaptive filters case these are advantage these are having some advantages over the other statistics and fixed filters so in this case the statistical characteristics of the image inside the filter region so the adaptive filter the value of the adaptive filter changes according to the intensity values or the spatial characteristics. That means the spatial characteristics here majorly we considered are the mean value. That means the intensity value in this particular region SXY where the sub region we considered for filtering operation is the intensity values are considered as a random variable. So that means suppose in this area suppose there are it is a 9 by 9 neighborhood simple 3 by 3 neighborhood that means if there are 9 pixel values all these 9 intensity values are assumed as random variables and their mean value and variance are the statistical properties to be considered adaptive filter behavior that means the value of the uh, center pixel to be replaced in this particular region depends upon the variation in these statistical properties that means mean and variance of the intensity values in this particular region sxy so that is the main difference with the adaptive filter a simple adaptive local noise reduction filter let us see the how the procedure is applied for the local noise to reduce the noise by using a local adaptive filter so let us first operate a region already we have discussed as sxy is the region the response of the filter at any point is based on the four quantities so four uh, variables are considered so in order to give the response at a particular position that is x comma y in this region s x y so that is g of x y the value of noise image at x comma y so let us assume that this image is corrupted by the noise that means we are applying a filter so we are applying a filter in order to remove the noise so assume that g of x y is a, a noisy image so g of x y the value of the noisy image at any position x comma y so that is the first quantity to be considered in uh, uh, operating the filter and second one is sigma n square which is nothing but the variance of the noise that means if you know the model of the noise then variance of the noise in the image f of x comma y where because of this noise f of x y is converted to g of x y that means our original image is f of x comma y so because of the effect of noise that means if noise is operated on f of x y that means f of x y is contaminated with the noise then the resultant image is assumed as g of x y so in this the variance of the noise and ml is the local mean local mean of the pixels in this particular region that means in this f of x y we are considering a region a small region s of x comma y in this region the mean value of the pixels that are present in this area so that is the third quantity Fourth one is local variance of the pixels in S of S X Y. So that means these four quantities based on these four quantities we will design the filter. So that is the filtering operation. In earlier case that means other statistic filters are the normal filters. So all this procedure is not required. Simply if you assume the average filter means in this particular area S X Y average of all the pixel values is considered and the center pixel value is replaced with the average of the, the neighborhood similarly minimum maximum median and all the filters operates on a fixed region s of x y and the characteristics are also fixed that means output is also fixed but in this case in adaptive case so depending upon the mean and the variance of the pixel values in this neighborhood that means in the region s of x y the filter characteristics are changed so basically these are the four quantities to be considered while designing the filters so first one is if you consider the noise only so that means f of x y is our original image and it is affected by the noise and resultant image that means the noisy image is g of x comma y so then in this case these four quantities that is at any pixel value that means at any location x comma y the pixel value in the noisy image 
so that is the first quantity to be considered second one is variance variance of the noise image and local variance that means sigma l square local variance of that means the variance in this particular region and the local mean that means mean of the pixel values in xf sxy in this region. so based on these four quantities depending on the conditions that means if sigma n square that means noise variance variance of the noise is equals to 0 that means there is no variation in the noise values then simply it gives g of x y it means there is no much variance in the noise image g of x y that means variance is equals to 0 the output is simply the value of g of x y so that is the first condition second one if the local variance that means sigma n square calculated value sigma l square is calculated already that means variance in this region s of x y if the local variance is greater than the noise variance of the noise then the filter gives a value which is close to g of x y so that means local variance is greater that means noise effect is less when compared to the local pixel values so then a value approximately which is equals to g of x y is the output and if the two variances are equal that is the third condition if the two variances are equal then the filter gives the arithmetic mean of the pixel values that means if both the variances that means local variance that is sigma l square and the variance of the noise that means sigma n square if both are equal so this is the third condition if both are equal so then the output value that means which which the filter returns the arithmetic mean as already we have calculated in the fixed filters the arithmetic mean of the pixels in the region sxy so these are the three conditions four quantities to be calculated and based on these three conditions filter out filter gives its a corresponding output the first condition is in case sigma n square is zero then simply it gives the g of x y value if local variance is greater than the noise variance then a value closely related to a value close to g of x y is returned third one if both the variances are equal then arithmetic mean is the output so these are the conditions based on these conditions estimate or restored image so which is affected by the noise and by applying the filter the restored image that is f cap is given as noisy image g of x y minus sigma n square that is variance of the noise by local variance into g of x y minus the local mean already these quantities we have calculated while designing the filter local variance noise variance and the local mean so based on these three quantities the estimated image that means a restored image or by applying the adaptive filter so we will get a image that is estimate of the original image f of x y so is calculated from by using this one so this is the basic procedure involved in designing a filter that is called adaptive filter particularly this kind of adaptive filter is used in order to reduce the local noise present in the image that means here local noise means it affects the intensity over a particular region so for this we need to calculate the two quantities by assuming the intensity values in the region s of x y as a random variable those two quantities are mean and variance by assuming pixel values or intensity values as the random variable we can calculate the mean value that is expected value and variance sigma x square so value uh, we can calculate use these two values in designing the filter output an adaptive median as already we have discussed the median filter so in that case in the median filter case the region we have considered that is s x y is constant s x y is constant that means if you take a 3 by 3 neighborhood that means a small region of 3 by 3 so from these 3 by 3 that means 9 values are there all these 9 values are arranged in the increasing order and median exactly the 50th percentile value is is taken as the median that is the output that means output is fixed for a given region and as well as the region small portion of the image we have considered for the filtering operation is also fixed but in case of adaptive filters so this region is also varied so depending upon the statistical properties as already we have discussed in the local uh, noise reduction filter so here s x y that means the local region that where we have considered for filtering operation is also varied so for that so we need to calculate some parameters so depending upon these parameters so we will design the adaptive median filter so the parameters are z minimum so that means the minimum intensity value in the region that means suppose it is a 3 by 3 neighborhood region 
as SXY is a 3 by 3 neighborhood. Suppose let us say 5, 10, 9, 15, 20, 25, 29 and 10. So, Z minimum. That means minimum intensity value in this neighborhood region. Here in this case 5 is the minimum intensity value. Maximum. Z max is the maximum intensity value. In this case maximum is 25 is Z max. 5 is the Z minimum. Similarly, Z median. That means arrange these in the increasing order as 5, 9, 9, 10, 10, 15, 20, 20 and 25. So, in this case all these values are greater than or equals to 10 and these values are less than or equals to 10. So, in this case median is 10. Z median value is equals to 10 in this case. So, Z x y is the intensity values at the coordinate x comma y. That means at any point we consider it. So, where we are going to apply the filter value that is the x y. S max is the maximum allowed size of S x y. That means we will define while designing the adaptive median filter we will define a maximum allowable size for this filter. This is the initial size that is 3 by 3. So, up to which extent that means let us say 5 by 5 or 6 by 6 like that. Up to which extent we can allow the maximum size to be varied is called the S max. So, based on these parameters there are two steps or two parts in designing the adaptive filter or we can say two phases phase A and phase B. In phase A that means our stage A we will calculate two parameters one is A1 and A2 where A1 is the difference between median and minimum value and say A2 is the difference between median and maximum value. As in this case we will see in our the median is a 10, minimum is 5, maximum value is a 25. So, difference the difference between median, minimum, median and maximum is calculated. That means in this case median, Z median is a 10, Z minimum value is 5, Z max is 25 in this particular example. The differences are calculated and if A1 is greater than 0 and A2 is less than 0. So, that means 1 is greater than 0 in this case as we see in Z1. So, difference is 5 that means A1 is 5, A2 is minus 20, A2 value is minus 20. That means this condition is satisfying. A1 is greater than 0 and A2 is less than 0 then go to directly go to the stage B. That means stage 1, stage A will be halted here. So, in this case otherwise that means else if this condition is not satisfied that means whether A1 is less than 0 or A2 is greater than 0 or both are greater than 0. So, like that if any condition other than this other than this that means if you arrange these values a maximum value is there that means if there is a maximum value which is greater than the median this condition implies that so in this neighborhood in SXY there is a value the intensity value is present which is greater than the median then only this condition A2 will become the less than 0. If such case is there then simply the second stage stage B will be implemented. So, otherwise if any other than this condition is there increase the window size. Window size means here we have considered the window size as 3 by 3 and increase this window size and again repeat the same window size should be check the window size is less than or equals to S max. Already we have discussed so there is a allowable window size maximum allowable window size is there which is S max. It is less than S max repeat the stage A. Else that means even if this is also the not the condition then output is a median value. I mean here it is a adaptive median. So, output is obviously Z median. That means if these two conditions are not satisfied. That means suppose if it is maximum allowed to the maximum value and any of these conditions are not verified then output will be Z median in the first case. Coming to the second stage again two constants similarly here A1 and A2 are calculated in stage A. In stage B two conditions again B1 and B2 are calculated. So, that means as we have discussed at any position x comma y the intensity value is ZXY. So, that ZXY minus Z minimum ZXY minus Z maximum is calculated. If B1 is greater than 0 and B2 is less than 0 output is ZXY. So, let us say suppose we are calculating at the center pixel. We are calculating the stage B for the center pixel that is whose value is 20. So, 20 minus Z minimum is 5, Z maximum is 25. So, 20 minus 5 here minus 5 that means this condition is satisfied B1 is greater than 0 and B2 is less than 0. In such a case output is ZXY that means here ZXY is 20 output is 20 
in this condition else output is the z median where z median is the 10 z median value is 10 in this case there is no size variation that means the region sxy is not varied in stage b only if this condition is not satisfied in stage a then only the window size is changed so this is the way of designing an adaptive median filter so output will be if you observe these two conditions only if this condition is not satisfied and as long as it is less than or equal to s max the median value is 10 only median value is 10 it means obviously our median is also 10 so that means in this condition our adaptive median filter is equals to a normal median filter so otherwise if this condition there is other than any of this condition then window size is increased so then the median value may be changed so otherwise in second stage also the same condition is satisfied so the median is same as the our actual median value only so this is the way of designing an adaptive median filter thank you